Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. You know, marijuana became a household name in the 60s when it was a visible part of the counterculture movement. But cannabis, the plant from which marijuana is derived, has actually been cultivated for thousands of years. People throughout much of the world have used its stems and leaves for oil, food, fiber, even medicine. Today, just about 15% of people in the United States use cannabis products for a variety of purposes. One of those is as a sleep aid. But does cannabis actually help you get the rest you need? I'll dig into that in just a moment. For now, I think it's helpful to get a little more familiar with cannabis, particularly a few of the plant's naturally occurring cannabinoids, THC, CBD, and CBN. THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol, is the primary psychoactive chemical in cannabis. It is the cannabinoid that affects the mind and causes intoxication. CBD, or cannabidiol, is another cannabinoid that can affect the mind. However, it lacks the intoxicating element of THC. And CBN, or cannabinol, is a lesser known cannabinoid that is believed to produce sedative effects which are enhanced when combined with THC. All three of these cannabinoids can show up in cannabis products which might be smoked, vaped, eaten as edibles, taken orally, or used in topical creams. Now, we all know the stereotype of people smoking weed. They are relaxed, they are calm, they're feeling good. All right, all right, all right. Seems like the right recipe for a good night's sleep. And one of the side effects of smoking marijuana is sleepiness. But how exactly does cannabis affect sleep and does it make sense to use it regularly as a sleep aid? These are good questions and the short answer is, unfortunately, it's complicated. Current evidence suggests that the short-term use of cannabis may be safe, but researchers know less about the long-term risks and benefits. And to complicate matters, the effects of cannabis on sleep depend in large part on the type and amount of cannabinoids that enter into your system. THC often causes a person to feel intoxicated, content, as well as relaxed. But in larger doses, it can backfire and sometimes cause alertness and anxiety. CBD may have a calming effect on the body's central nervous system and help reduce pain, inflammation, as well as anxiety. And there's now some anecdotal evidence that it helps people sleep but research-backed evidence is very limited and oftentimes contradictory. Even less is known about CBN, but some studies are now suggesting it may help promote healthy sleep. It's also important to remember that cannabis use can influence the length and stage of sleep. That in turn can affect the quality of your rest. For instance, THC can help you fall asleep faster and increase the amount of time you stay in deep sleep, which can be extremely beneficial for people with insomnia but there's also evidence that some cannabinoids decrease the amount of time the body stays in REM sleep, which can decrease a person's ability to process emotions and create memories. The bottom line is there's still a lot to learn about cannabis and its impact on sleep. Okay, but with all that being said, let's say you use cannabis in some form as a sleep aid. You sleep fine, but you wake up in the morning feeling groggy, a bit disoriented, and with a strong desire to go back to bed you might be experiencing something called sleep inertia. Sleep inertia is very common, and it's simply that period of time, somewhere between 15 and 60 minutes after you wake up, where you don't quite feel ready to face the day. Cannabis use can exacerbate sleep inertia and make you feel less bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, even if you did get your full seven to eight hours of sleep. If you wake up feeling this way, here are a few things that you can do to shorten sleep inertia and get on with your day. The first thing I want you to do, start with 15 ounces of water because hydration is important, especially after using cannabis, which can often cause dry mouth. Another old remedy that actually works, a shower. Stepping into that warm water can boost circulation as well as wakefulness. Do yourself a favor and try to turn the temperature as cold as you can stand it in the last part of your shower and count to 30. This will certainly help wake you up. And I also recommend getting outside or next to a sunny window for about 15 minutes. That's the time that it takes for vitamin D to be produced, as well as the light exposure helps suppress sleep hormones like melatonin and recalibrate your sleep-wake cycle. And of course, a cup of coffee certainly helps. It's a tried and true remedy, but do me a favor, just make sure that you wait until 90 minutes after you've opened your eyes. Just remember, even if you can beat the effects of sleep inertia, cannabis shouldn't be a long-term solution. More research is needed to understand its long-term effects and the potential risks. So until we know more, use it sparingly in states where it's legal and talk to your doctor if you continue to have trouble sleeping. 
Of course, cannabis is not the only natural sleep aid out there. The food you eat can make a big difference in the quality of your sleep. So check out my video on some of the best vitamins for sleep. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.